An intense scene. Explosive flames shooting from a Southern California house fully engulfed. A Stockton firefighter is a true hero tonight after helping to save the life of an elderly woman and her three dogs. He was attending a family reunion literally around the corner. We spoke to Captain Mike Smith via Skype tonight, and while we are calling him a hero, he will tell you he was just doing his job. Wearing only the t-shirts on their back and no gear, they were all about saving lives. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins spoke with the Stockton fire captain tonight about his heroic deed, Macy. <laughs> That's what we thought when we saw this video. A house in flames near the beach in Oxnard. And just down the street, Captain Mike Smith of the Stockton Fire Department. First day at the beach house, and my sister came running into the house and said that there's a lot of smoke down the street. He tells me he grabbed his daughter's boyfriend, Jacob Tibbetts, who happens to be a volunteer firefighter from Illinois. And together, they drove towards the flames and saw that the fire department wasn't there yet. Neighbors told him no one was inside of that home, but they weren't sure about the homes nearby. We saw a window that was open, so we went into the, the window, and as we're searching through the house, there was an elderly lady sleeping in the back room. We got there just prior to the fire engine arriving. That's when a vacation quickly turned into a rescue mission for off-duty Stockton Fire Captain Mike Smith. <laughs> and his daughter's boyfriend, Jacob Tibbetts, who was also a firefighter. So what we did was went ahead and broke a screen out, went into the house, saw an old lady that was sleeping, um, picked her up real quick, carried her out, um, and then uh, Jacob also grabbed her three dogs and got them out of the house safely. <laughs> When Oxnard firefighters arrived on scene, they continued to pitch in. That's Captain Smith and Tibbetts wearing the red T-shirts and black shorts. They were shorthanded, so we jumped on some hose lines, gave them a hand, backed them up a little bit. The back's clear. We're going to do the hop on this roof here. Once we were pulling hose lines, we were standing right with the other guys. It was one of those things where we really thought more about making sure these guys were backed up weren't taking all the pressure from the hose. It wasn't anything that we really thought about. Well, Oxnard Fire Department, those guys were great, and I, I appreciate them letting us give a hand, and uh, they did a great job. An Easter weekend to remember proving Stockton's finest always on duty, even on vacation. Meanwhile, Tibbetts went back in to rescue the woman's three dogs. Everybody was fine. I know that they had gone down to vacation with their family, mm -hmm. and like all the families were coming together. I showed this video to Smith's neighbors who've known the family for years. I'm totally amazed by the whole what happened, but I I'm not surprised. Mike does this kind of thing. This is this would this is Mike. He thinks of others before himself. He really is. That's the kind of person he is. What do you say to that? Uh, both Jacob and I were just out there doing what we were trying to do it wasn't anything we really thought about smith's neighbor lisa colt says she's amazed at his quick reaction and she's glad to have him live nearby good to have in the neighborhood <laughs> right around the corner great neighbors yeah <laughs> Now, one thing Smith noticed inside of the two homes that he went into, it was very concerning for him that neither house had working smoke detectors. So he urges everyone tonight to double check those batteries in your system as it can be life saving. Oh, what an amazing story. Another salute to how hard our firefighters work. Macy Jenkins. Once the Oxnard Fire Department had enough crews to fight the fire, they thanked Captain Smith and told him he could stand back where he and his family picked up their vacation right where they left off. They're still down in Southern California. But I'll tell you what, first responders, once you're a first responder, you're, once you're on, you're always on. And they were there it's at the right time. It's in your blood. You just jump mm -hmm. in when you're needed. And he was needed. And boy, did he help out. Yeah.